hi my name is Keith and welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to learn about how you can ship online from uk usa india and south africa to zambia and everything you need to know about shipping things from other countries to zambia so if you're from zambia then you should definitely watch this video till the end if you're not a zambian probably you shouldn't watch this video and try watching other videos of mine unless you just want to know how you can get something from other countries to zambia yeah so the question is how do you shop and ship something to zambia so the first thing you need to do is first to know what you want to buy once you know what exactly you need to buy the second thing we need to know is where to buy okay once you know where to buy the third thing you know you need to know is how to ship okay so once you know these three things you'll be able to buy anything from any country to zambia and get what you've bought within a short period of time okay so now let's get started with the first point i have written here knowing so for example if you want to buy a phone you really need to know where you can buy that phone from let's say if it's amazon or ebay or take a lot from south africa so once you know what you really want to buy the second thing you have to know is where to buy and the last thing you need to know is how to ship okay so zambia is not like any other country in the us where you just enter your home address and you receive what you've bought so to receive something in zambia you really need to uh you really need to get in touch with some shipping companies which can help you deliver what you've bought to you than just using your normal address so in zambia to get something in zambia you really need to use like what you call virtual addresses of some shipping companies okay some shipping companies will let you use their virtual address and your product to be shipped to the to them then that company will deliver it to you in zambia so today is specifically the shipping company we're going to use is Tigmo Shop and Ship. Okay, so Tigmo Shop and Ship, this is the website here. I don't know if you have ever used it, but as for me, it's the one I've been using for all my shippings from USA and South Africa. Okay, so South Af uh, Tigmo Shop and Ship has got locations in four uh yeah four countries i guess no three countries okay so it is what in uk usa south africa and india so um before we go on in tigmo let's talk about how much it costs to get something from tigmo uh from these same locations we are giving so to check how much it will cost you just have to click on the home button which is over here okay and You'll be presented with this screen where you have to enter the source okay for example if you want to ship something from south africa uh, in the south africa then destination i will choose okay as for me i'm rusaka mckinney so i'll choose mckinney then the weight i'll choose let's say is uh, 0 0.3 grams and the content type i'll choose okay if you're buying a phone or anything that goes a battery you have to choose equipment contained with lithium ion battery okay and if you are shipping something just go to this type of batteries it's going to cost you more but if it's something normal it's not going to cost you at all so i'm going to choose for something normal then it's going to show me the total of amount i have to pay which which is 100 and a quarter yeah so now how long does it take to ship so according to your website they say it only takes between five and seven days to reach you so as for me i've tried buying two things from south africa and from us and we're going to see if that's really true about receiving your parcel in within seven days so we are told that in uk it takes four to five days to reach zambia 
USA it takes 7 to 10 days to reach Zambia and South Africa it takes 3 to 4 days to reach Zambia and in India it takes 7 to 10 days to reach Zambia but is this true? Well let us find out if this is really true because uh, I've only tried shipping from two countries so the next thing I'm going to try now is from India and UK and we see if this is really true so first of all let me log in and show you the whole process on how long it took and everything else you'd like to know about okay so we're going to start with one thing the first thing i bought was from south africa and it was a tripod stand the one i used to mount my phone and record videos on so the tripod stand in south africa it cost about uh 114 rands is it runs the kinds of south africa yeah, something like that and i paid about how much was that uh okay i paid 85 quarter okay and the weight was 250 grams and i paid 85 quarter so now let's look at the whole process okay so only 2021 i think this was a uh, march on 17th okay i bought this triple stand from take a lot this website over here and so on 20th uh on 17th it was received at the south africa hub okay then on 17th the same day around 14 it was dispatched from south africa meaning it was dispatched like being sent on its way to zambia then on the 22 it reached the lusaka airport so it took 17 18 19 20, 21 so it took about five days to reach the lusaka airport from south africa okay and on the same day 15 it was received at the Lusaka sorting center where they have to sort out things and know where to take these things and so on. I'm sure that's what that means. Okay, then on the following day, on the 16th, it was now forwarded to the destination city, which is, I think, Macken, where it's supposed to be collected from. So when it comes to Tigmo Shop and Ship, you can either go and pick it up once it reaches the destination city, which is also the collection center, or you can wait for them, they deliver it to your home, okay? So as for me, I never really wanted it urgently, so that's the reason why I just waited for them to deliver it to me. It took about a, a day again just to reach me. So now, according to their website, they're saying it takes four to five days to reach Zambia from South Africa, but... As you can see here, it didn't really take that. So let's try to count how long it took. Okay. So it took about... Uh, uh, so it took about 13 days, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it took about 13 days, which is a week and three days. Okay, yeah, it's quite good. Yeah. Not really bad yeah i guess it's faster maybe because of these covid things and so on maybe that's why it was delayed but otherwise this is much faster than having to rely on post office where but it takes months and months and months so it just took a week and some days which is good so now let's go to the other uh, uh package i bought of which was from usa so the thing i bought from usa is this thing is a Ma Maono mic yeah it's the one i'm using this mic i bought it from usa and i bought it from amazon okay so let me just show you okay here it is this is the one i bought from amazon so and here it is i paid 183 quarter and it was 200 grams so as you can see here um 
this one costed more than the one I bought from South Africa because South Africa is nearby and this one is much far and it has got a battery. No wonder I paid 183 kwacha, which is big. Yeah, but actually the real price of this mic is $25, I think about 600 kwacha or so in Zambia. So let's look at the process from USA to Zambia and see how long it took and see if it's really true that it only takes seven days to reach Zambia. So on, okay, so I bought this on May 22 from Amazon, the mic I'm currently using right away. By the way, should let me know how is this sound? Okay. So how does this mic sound? Let me know in the comments if it really sounds good. Okay. So I, uh, when I bought from Amazon, I used Amazon Prime. So Amazon Prime offers two-day shipment whereby when you, when you use Amazon Prime, they'll deliver whatever you've bought within two days. So it was delivered to the virtual address of Tigmo on... Uh, I think it was on 23 let me just check it out and see when it was delivered yeah it was delivered on 23 no it was delivered on 24 24 may okay so but when you come to tigmo it's showing that um, it was delivered on 25 I think this is because of time differences and so on, or maybe that's when it was being recorded, I don't know. Okay, so according to Amazon, it's saying it was delivered on 24th May 2021, but according to Tigmo, they are saying they received it on 25. Okay, so what mind about this? So, it took three days for it to leave USA to be dispatched to Zambia. So on 28th, it was dispatched. And on 4th, I think 4th, this is supposed to be June, right? Yeah. On 4th, it reached the Lusaka airport. So from USA to Lusaka airport, it took about um, uh, 7 days, which is a week. Yeah. So it took a week from USA to reach the airport of Zambia. And from the airport to the Lusaka sorting center, it took another week. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it took five days. Okay. So at the Lusaka airport, that's where uh, the thing have to be cleared for tax and so on. Yeah, I'm sure it was a long process because of this COVID stuff. So I can understand about this, why it took long at the airport. Yeah, but this is kind of bad. Five days on the airport when the your pass has already arrived in Zambia, then after having to wait for five days, it's kind of a lot. Yeah, so let's continue. So from the Rusaka setting center, on uh, 10th, it was forwarded to the destination center. So on the 10th, this was around nine hours, and this was yesterday. So when it was forwarded to the destination center, I never wanted to wait again another day for them to uh, bring it to my home. So as for me, I decided to follow it up and pick it up and I did that. So I even made a video about that on me going to pick it up. So um, here's the video, you should definitely watch it. Okay, so in this video, it was me going to Tigmo's office to go and pick it up. So you should definitely watch it and see how it is. Okay, so to summarize how long did, did it take me from USA to Zambia? So let's try to count. So it took about... Um, uh, okay, it took about a week and nine days or so, which is quite good. So everything took in less than two weeks. Yeah, this is better. Yeah, this is very much good compared to other shipping companies. Okay, I've watched another video from who's this guy? Opinionated Spirit. It took more than two weeks to get something from wherever I bought that. No, it was from USA, I'm sure. Yeah, so 
according to Tigmo, even if it's not really within five days or seven days as they mentioned, but it's still faster as compared to other shipping companies which work in Zambia. Okay, so now that you've seen how long this takes and how it works, it's time to show you how you can use Tigmo. So the first thing you need to do, of course, right now is to um, create an account on Tigmo. It's free to create. When you create an account, you you will receive an email having your uh, virtual addresses. So to do that, once you log in into your Tigmo account, simply come where it's written address book. Uh, not really here. Okay, you come where it's written virtual addresses. Okay, so on the virtual addresses, okay so now if you'd like to buy something except from amazon the first thing you need to know is find out where that product you are buying is being shipped from okay so on amazon things are being shipped from usa uk india and especially china so if you are shipping let's say from uk then you have to choose the uk address so that you receive that um thing you are buying faster because if something is being from shipped from USA and you enter your UK address, it means that it will have to be shipped from USA to UK, from UK then to Zambia, and the whole process is going to take longer than you thought it would. So make sure that you, you choose the location nearer. Okay, so once you do that, just copy this address as your shipping address. I don't think you have to make a video on this. I'm sure you have to know how to do all this. But just in case you don't know how you can do all this, I might make another tutorial because this video has really gone far. Yeah, I never wanted to reach this far. Yeah, this is 8 minutes, almost 20 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And one last thing, the other thing I like about Igmo is that um, in case you've got a query, you've got a question, and you're not sure about anything, you can simply just call this number here and they will answer you and you'll be able to ask your question and you'll be helped yeah because uh when i shipped something from usa to the hub in us as you notice that it didn't show the exact date so i had to call them to find out if they really received it or not and they told me no you have to wait for a day for your order to show up you know the remote dashboard and i understood that and i waited and it did so their support is very much good you should try them out yeah so i guess that's bye for now so make sure that you like this video subscribe and share so probably we'll see you in the next video tomorrow